Check out this little video of a safe that I looked at at a big box store. Do you want that protecting your valuables? I don't think so. Although price is important when buying a safe, sometimes what appears to be a good deal isn't because the safe won't meet your needs. What you need will depend on what you're putting into the safe. There's some great information about how to choose a safe on our safe sales online website. I'll put a link to that below. The only thing that if you care about is fire protection and you're not worried about the integrity of the safe, then an inexpensive safe that you get online or at a big box store is going to suit your needs. But if you want to add security to a safe, those safes just aren't going to cut it. You want to keep people out of your safe. The level of security largely determines the price. You get what you pay for here applies 100%. Once you know what you want, you can then make an informed decision and compare prices for manufacturers on safes that are equivalent. So let's take a look at something that's very important and that's the door thickness. This should be your number one concern. Now when I'm talking about door thickness, I do not mean overall door thickness. The overall door thickness of a safe is really irrelevant. The two biggest components of overall door thickness are the fireboard and the air inside the door. Those are not security features. Most consumers aren't aware of that, and when they see a safe that's advertised as a 5-inch door thickness, they're thinking they're getting more security, but that's not always the case. What you need to consider is the metal thickness that is covering or protecting the door. In order of best to worst, door thickness will either be a solid steel plate over the entire door, which is the best, a solid steel anti-drill plate around the lock on the door, or compressed pieces of sheet metal pressed together, which is the worst. Those big box store gun safes are usually protected by only a thin sheet of metal wrap around the fireboard on the front door. They can be pried open in less than 60 seconds. Safes with anti-drill plates provide additional security, protect the safe from being drilled, but not from prying. So they're a bit better than wraps. However, when you do see that they have an anti-drill plate, you will find that they're using thicker steel than those that don't. If you're putting anything of real value into the safe, you want a door with a solid steel plate at least 3 16 of an inch thick. TL15, TL30 burglary rated safes typically have solid steel doors of 3 8 to a half inch thick. A TL30 rated safe is the highest rated safe generally available to the public. In fact, TL30 rated safes are the same rating that is required of jewelry stores in order to protect their valuables. After you look at door thickness, you want to consider the side thickness of the safe. This is an area that is often attacked when trying to get in. Big box store safes again skimp here. We've seen safes with sides of plastic or metal less than 1 16th of an inch thick. The wrap surrounds the fireboard that gives you your fire rating, but it's not enough to protect any valuables inside of the safe. If you're looking to protect valuables inside of the safe, you want to make sure that that wrap is at least 11 gauge metal or 1 8 of an inch. Our favorites have 8 gauge wraps. Here's a little tip. When you're looking at the gauge of steel, instead of looking at the inches or the millimeters of the, of the steel, the lower the gauge, the thicker it is. So 10 gauge is thicker than 12 gauge and 12 gauge is thicker than 14 gauge, etc. For extreme valuables, you want to upgrade to a safe that uses a concrete slurry instead of fireboard to get the fire rating. The concrete is poured between the inside and the outside of the safe walls, usually two inches thick. It contains a composite of material called dry light by one manufacturer that eats through drill bits trying to penetrate it. Some burglary rated safes and nearly all TL15, TL30 safes use some kind of a cement composite. And at the very highest level of security, you have something called a TL30 by 6 safes. That is a TL30 rated safe on every side of the safe, not just the door. After you've considered the security of the door, you want to consider the strength of the bolts. Did you see the big box door video I showed? You already know that bolts are important if you've watched that video. In that video, the entire length of the bolt is barely long enough to secure the door when locked. Underneath the bolt is, a, is hollow and the bolt is held in place by what appears to be a very thin, narrow aluminum rod. Do you want that to be the only thing between your valuables and a thief? I don't think so. When considering safe bolts, look at the following. Overall width of the bolt. The bigger the bolt, the more it distributes force when a safe door is getting pried open. Diameters of one to one and a half inch are what you want to be looking for. 
The thickness of the safe's metal where the bolts come out is often the same thickness as the steel sheet surrounding the entire safe door. The better manufacturers are actually reinforcing this with a bolt guard so that you actually get a thicker armor area around that bolt. Bolts should be long enough to ensure that the bolt is fully inside the door and secured to the safe when the door is locked. You want a bolt of at least two and three eighth inches long. The longer, the better. And you've decided on the level of security you need for your safe, which translates to door thickness, side thickness, the bolts, all of those aspects that we've already talked about. Then you're ready to start comparing safes side by side. So when you're looking at safes with those same security features that you want, consider the weight per volume of the safe. So if you have two safes that are about the same size, go with the safe that weighs the most because that will let you know about the strength of materials being used in areas you can't see, such as how thick and how heavy are the rods that are extracting and retracting the bolts. The heavier safe per unit volume in the same category of the safe that you're looking at, the better quality of the safe that you're going to buy. Hopefully you found this information useful. We do sell safes online. The safes that we offer online, we feel give you the most security for the dollar that you're spending. I'll put a link to our website down below so that you could take a look. If you also like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to follow us and we'll let you know when we have new videos out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.